Yeah, sounds it. And I would just love to ask, because in terms of the metabolic therapies, you mentioned two, you mentioned, um, uh, you know, this water only fast, and you mentioned the keto diet. Is there any data suggesting that one may be more effective than the other? Well, this has come up so many times. You know, when we when we did this originally in the mouse, and we were seeing these phenomenal uh, targeting and killing, we were doing water only. Uh, we were doing calorie restriction. But, but a 40% calorie restriction in the mouse, we were saying, wow, look at all this effect, 40%. The mouse's basal metabolic rate is seven times faster than that of a human. So a 40, I was saying, well, what does a 40% calorie restriction in a mouse represent to a human? And then we did this and we were kind of surprised and we said, God, it's, it's water only fasting because of the difference in basal metabolic rate. So in order to get the benefits that we see in this poor mouse, we have to do water only fasting. And we, we matched the glucose ketone ratios in the blood of the human and the mouse. So the 40% calorie restricted mouse, don't forget if you take food, mouse doesn't live but more than five or six days at the most without food. Um, you, you know, that terrible tragedy in, in Northern Ireland uh, with uh, Bobby Sands and Mays, the Mays uh, prison camp there, I know it's highly uh, uh, political thing, but those poor folk, those guys uh, died of starvation. Um, and they were without food for up to, you know, 75 to 85 days. Um, uh, and none of them, those young Irish guys were, none of them were obese. They were fit young men. And uh, uh, you can see, but uh, Cahill fasted some guy. Actually, there was a, uh, Angus Barberry from Scotland uh, fasted one year with water only. Uh, he, he was like four or 500 pounds. And uh, he went for a whole year without without because he stored all that energy is stored. Also, fat stores vitamins, uh, bone store minerals. I mean, your body is 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 quite efficient at storing energy minerals, my, macro and micronutrients. So uh, again, you become much fit and healthier when when you can uh, bring your body back into a state of metabolic homeostasis. To me, as a layperson. Um... Uh, I, I think that if I had cancer, I think the one thing I would be wondering, um, and perhaps maybe a common pushback that you get in terms of, say, for instance, water only fasting or calorie restrictions, is if that then led to something like muscle deficiency or nutrient deficiency, a weakened immune system, what would that uh, you know, reduce my chances of, of fighting cancer? Or, or how, um, how do you kind of view that one? No, no, uh, 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 very important because Cahill and others have shown that when you start to see nitrogen rise in your blood, see that water only fasting is, is therapeutic up to a point. And then it enters into the zone of what we call starvation, which is an extremely pathological state. So therapeutic fasting is where your body is regaining its health and strength and vitality. But if you push that too far, and it depends on the age, gender, uh, body weight, mass, all of these things come into play to determine what becomes healthy and, and unhealthy. But I, I want to touch back on what you said about ketogenic diets and what diet, um, because this always is a tremendous point of confusion to a lot of people. Um, and that's why we published and developed the glucose ketone index calculator. It allows us to know when the ratio of glucose and ketones are approximately uni unity in the blood. So, uh, um, when we, when we found that for cancer patients or people who just want to prevent cancer, if they can get a GKI of 2.0 or below with the Keto Mojo meter, you can buy the meter from Amazon. So all the cancer patients that are doing metabolic therapy all have their meters to know when they're in the state of metabolic nutritional ketosis, because people say, oh yeah, I, I haven't eaten this, I, I'm in keto. How do you know? Well, I pissed on this uh, strip and it tells me I, I have ketones. And that's true, but it doesn't quantify the blood sugar you, and ketone ratio together. So we measure from the blood, the same, uh, same drop of blood, you can measure ketones and your glucose and get a really good quantitative number. Once the patient, and you can do that on a ketogenic diet, carnivore diet, vegan diet, pescatarian diet, water only fasting, all of these things can bring you down to a low GKI. Uh, and people come to realize that, oh man, I'm, I can't, it's hard for me to get, if I'm eating these plants. Well, you might want to try to eat some meat and you'll see how fast you can get down there. So again, <laughs> it depends on the person. So um, I don't want to, you know, piss off ve vegans and carnivore people and they get all angry when you say one thing or another. So I don't care what you eat. 
See if you can get Mediterranean diets. I mean, see if you can get your GKI down. And then you'll come to know, your body will come to know what you can do, what you, what you should and should not eat. So uh, um, again, it becomes ketogenic diet is just one way to get into the zone, but you can do it with other ways as well. But you have a quantitative measure to tell you when you're in that zone. When you're in that zone, that's when we, part of the metabolic therapy brings in the drugs uh, that will target glutamine because you can't really do that effectively with good diets. So, but we use the drugs very sparingly and you have to know to doses, timing and scheduling. You have to be very cautious because glutamine is an essential amino acid for the immune system, for the gut, for the urea cycle. Uh, so you can't go in there too aggressively. You really have to understand the biology of the problem uh, and know how to play groups of cells off of each other. This makes it really exciting. Cancer becomes one of those diseases that there's so beautiful many ways to kill the damn thing uh, without harming the rest of the body. This is, this is the future, man. This is going to be the future. These guys are going to say, man, I can kill these tumor cells. Oh yeah, tell me how you did that. I'm going to show you. I tweak this at this time and you're going to annihilate these tumor cells and the patient's going to feel better when you're doing it. So uh, um, this is the future. It's just that not enough people understand the biology of the problem to, to, to wield the power uh, of these diet drug combos to, to, to uh, wipe out these cancer cells.